What's up guys, this is the Rifleman and I am back bringing you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as Mexico. So to run off where we left off, the army I deposited in the Atlantic with no reinforcement because the navy got utterly smashed by the Portuguese navy is attacking the capital of Lisbon. And as you can see, they have no artillery. So the chances for us are looking excellent. So without further ado, Let's see if we can demand a surrender. Unsurprisingly, they refuse to they refuse to agree. They refuse to continue. But nevertheless, let us assault. They've been good to have, because I forgot that it was an open field battle. Um, but infantry formation is always effective. But let's get ready for the assault of the from there, uh, springboard onto Madrid. So what I want to do is deploy all the way out here. Because I have more firepower and I would like to use it. Let's do. So let's do you and you. Let's do you. Go here to cover, and the Casadors can uh, take positions behind that wall. Oh, frontiers, we're not Casadors. They are Portuguese. Peh. You'll get ready to make up the right flank. Fusileros will be in reserve. And one unit of cavalry will be on the left because it should be a bit more open. Generally in the centre, behind the Fusileros. Oh, holy moly. No way, I want those. Uh, press the wrong button. 12 pound a foot. You go out here. Let's run my cavalry out to run interference. Well, try to hit those Cazadors actually. They're gonna let me potentially chew up a free unit. Ah, oh, well, I don't have quick climb yet. Well, I'll stay with round shot for now. No, wheel off. You're gonna get within range of the uh, garrison line, which I don't want. Fusileros up here. Shift my general right. And there you go, I'm gonna get ready to open fire onto the Portuguese troops. I'd like to have had my cavalry within range, but Who are you on the right? Irregulars. Get my cavalry up here. Revenge your fallen navy brothers!
wheel right. Cavalry on the right, doing okay. Mm, keep my cavalry a bit secure. No, nah. hit those great, hit those irregulars. frontiersman inside that house. Okay, let's flee back to the front lines because they're rebalancing trying to deal with my um, attack. Come on, get into the house. I don't get why it's doing that. Why they're doing this? But some trod can hide and skirmish from distance to cold fatigue. Because I mean, I said to put them in the house. Let's move my frontiersmen up to skirmish against the uh, the artillery. They are, they are the general's being picked off by my fusileros. Good. You get a handful of Portuguese troops being knocked down on the left flank, on, the, on my, my right flank. Is this going to be a general assault? Fuse are also picking them off to protect the of the guns. See, this is a good position to do because as they move forward, they'll come within range of my fuse arrows who can fire, fire by rank, granted they're not stretched out to the full three. Um, but they can fire over the heads of my line infantry safely so they can engage this unit here, the provincial line, without risk of hitting my troops. They're winning some local advantages on the right. Let's halt fire will of you. Advance up my battle line, but it all seems a bit redundant now.
run my cavalry into this chasm of ours. I think we speed up time. Okay, let's... Let's pound that little square to scraps. So let's all let's speed up time. This is what happens, you skulk in squares and provide tempting targets for Mexican gunners! Okay, fall back this unit. It's got some garrison line coming up to chase after them. Time for the general advance. It's your frontiersman, let's run back as though you're skirmishes, you're you're a bit lighter on your feet. Then fire at long range onto the units to the rear. Oh, they're bugged out. a bit to let them all to reform the line. Let's bring up the general. Let's run my Fusileros up because they are lagging behind. Run up the whole line, treat everyone as the same infantry now, regardless of whether they're frontiersmen or actual infantry. This unit's about to get absolutely annihilated. The 6th Regiment of Foot Garrison Provincial Line Infantry. Here is your officer. Let's watch him. As everyone suddenly turns a quarter turn to the right. Muskets to their shoulders. enough of that, they figure. Speed up in this advance on a narrow front. And then slowly shuffle the lines up. Or if anything, let's take these guys on the right. advance that a bit more rapidly because they're flagging behind or well, they're lagging behind sorry hmm. colonial line which is under is wavering slightly under the the withering fire of the Cazadars. I think one of only three or four unique units that minor nations actually get in the regular game. I'm absolutely not... Uh, um, what is it? Not, oh. Oh, I 
can't remember the word I'm thinking of, but I have not set up my line infantry to provide the most efficient fire, but I don't need to. Got so many damn muskets on the field. The pride of the mighty Portuguese army. The navy might have won you the control of the Atlantic. Ha ha ha. Excellent. For the loss of 359 troops. Lisbon is mine. Lisbon is mine! Cloth mill, cloth mill. Seminary. Delete you. So they had no university. Ah, there it is. Yep, you don't like me, but I'm gonna I'm gonna get rid of your taxes. I'm gonna get rid of your taxes, and you can uh, and I'm gonna build some walls. And then I'm gonna reinforce my army. Hell, build some roads, why not? Do a proper spending spree in Portugal. I'm gonna destroy your seminary, build a happiness building. Destroy university. The university alone will probably do it. Nearly. Near as damn it. But yes, Lisbon is ours. That is such a big deal for us. It's only a short hop and skip over to conquer Madrid. And then finally, Spain is out of the war. And all those Portuguese fleets are gone. Excellent, excellent, excellent. And I still want to trade away my regions, but it's not going to happen. So a territory will have opened up. Oh no, the Marathas already have it. Um, Portugal doesn't own, anywhere, doesn't own anywhere else, I don't think. But critically, this building, Naval College, enables research. We can get Mexican Marines. Lovely. This is this is such a big deal because right now this territory, it is a valuable region. Um, it does produce a lot of money, particularly as I've got all these workshops. Do I have power loom and coke blast furnace? I do have coke blast furnace and I do not have power loom. So they've been going down the textile industry tree. See, well, so, well no, see, do I keep... Mm. Do I keep the university and build happiness buildings? I don't think I do. Not just yet. I think I get rid of it just to maintain happiness and I don't get so we can reduce rebellions. I think that'd be a good deal. Okay, so now I've spent all my money. Let's hit end turn and see what the uh, Spanish response to my action is. I wouldn't be surprised to see an army marching my way. If I build a happiness building, I'd really hope I'd get a rake and I'd send the rake to scout in Madrid. It's frustrating that Genoa's got Gibraltar, because Gibraltar would be another excellent one to take to have control of the Straits. Yes, at least I have a foothold in the European continent. And if I take Spain... Well, to be honest, Spain doesn't even really matter anymore, does it? Sure, I've got... I could take Florida. I think I probably will. If I take Florida, I'm tempted to see if I can sue for peace with Spain. And see how long that lasts. Because eventually they'll declare war on me again. And if they do, I'll just go catch in Madrid. Now and end it. I think... What? Workers on strike, but you're now happy again. So let's build a coaching in. There we go, new tech. So there are no villages. What's the best way to balance this? It might be to work up to a... No, clamour for a form boost straight up by 11. I don't think I do. I think I effectively have to wait till I con if I conquer Spain, because they've got a university in so many villages. Two schools in Spain. They must be... OK, 
Okay, let's have a look. Let's scout. Because obviously I can't leave this fortress. I can't leave this town for, you know, for a while. Let's build some happiness buildings till this goes down and then I might convert one of them into a school. Dockyard, good. Lots of cavalry in this one, so it might not be the best to attack Florida, but all, all I end up doing is um, sitting outside of it. So what do they have? Not a bad little force. Well, lots of too much artillery, almost. Now you know what? Mm, then again, Florida would give me. Florida would give me more resources, but it would open up a flank for me to have to be at war with the United States. Prussia. Fascinating. Ah, the British have taken both of those islands. Interesting. First, let's do a bit of... Let's do a bit of investing. Do we upgrade a load of ports? I think I may as well do. So I don't think there's much else I can spend the money on. And port still brings in money at the end of the day. Farms in Cuba. Cuban town. Small navy. I think I keep this army just ready to respond to other threats. I would like them to take... I would like someone to take the United Provinces out. Who are they at war with? Russia, Britain, Hanover, Prussia. The United States is at war with Britain, Russia and Denmark. France is allied with so many people. Right, let's have a look at prestige. So America's out there. I'm up there with my naval power still. The military could do with a bit more of a boost. But right now, I think I need to... Well, I have a scout of what's going on in Spain. Genoa is indifferent and is allied... No, I don't want to go to war with Genoa. They're at war... They're allied with Britain. Okay, let's see if I can tax you. No, not yet. Okay, so I like what the Austrians are doing. Request peace, request trade. Oh, you have lots of tech. Oh, you have lots of tech. But you still won't take it, will you? Sadly not. Right, yeah, let's hit and turn. Because what I want to do, really, I think, is a bit of consolidation. Well, whoa, oh, that is perfect. If you guys just saw that, there was a massive Spanish stack that just sailed away. So maybe they're abandoning Madrid. They don't want to. They don't want to uh, to be knocked out of the game, but they're not going to try and defend Madrid. That would be pretty perfect, I think. Well, do you need to watch out about the British? This is where I might try ally the... Oh no, 
try to ally the French? Because then at least if Britain declares on me, then uh, they'll also, they'll be, they're currently fighting America, but then they'll also start fighting France as well at the same time. Could be a good idea. There is a port in this region that has not yet been developed. Ooh. Select the type of port to construct here. A fishing port will help your population grow. A trade port will provide an income from overseas trade. A naval port. Let's get you in there. Line guards, grand air guards. What does that do firstly? Okay, food short no, food shortages aren't as much of a problem now. Mexico is feeling good. Mexico is expanding. Villa Hermosa is growing, so textiles aren't as much of a value aren't as much of a thing anymore. I think the best thing to do is start to go down this. You'd start pick up some naval tech. Construction got some more plantations. Got a slight bonus on building plantations or a slight discount. Let's build new roads. Build new roads. And a bigger city. Okay, let's have a look at you, Madrid. Oh, they'd have, they get a big garrison, but they've got no army in there. So if I kind of move you out... No, because you would hate it. So you're going to stay there while I recruit some ooh, non-American, non-Mexican units, blunderbusses, guerrillas, engineers. Interesting. Can I not build more than a naval? Oh, they've they've gone all the way down the text. Perfect. See, so if I, th I think, if I did, it's so what are you building? Two happiness buildings. I think I could get away with it. And go lay siege to the capital. Fall the cavalry back. But importantly, recruit some line. A, some reinforcements. And B, um, as a bit of garrison. Because they hate me. It'll go down to minus three because of the building of these towns. Then it will bump down to minus two because it's been a turn. And this will go down by one. And the industrialization might grow in three turns. Not not something to worry about now. Savoy's been destroyed. So you know what that does mean is open for the taking. Uh, York Factory, Northwest Territories. Been out of the way. Ooh, very dangerous. Hmm, do I want to go for it? That's the question. What would it give me? Another a fur trapper post. Do I have any fur? No, but fur is very valuable. Hmm. I think I leave it. Oh no, this this army's not doing anything by itself right now. And I'm not at war with anyone. Hmm. No, I'm I'm going to stay as is. I don't want to risk it. What I am, but what I am going to do is just, as I've got money, build some, build, start building a new fleet. 
No, not an Admiral's flagship. Let's build me just a box standard fifth. Start building a fleet. Said you hate me, but it's a bit of a gamble, but I think it should pay off. Okay, let's hit end turn. Because they'll 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 riot. No, they'll 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 be on strike. Then they'll riot. Then they'll rebel. I don't think a rebellion would be even if they do rebel, it won't be a problem because I'll have walls built by then. I think. And then I'll, I'll have walls and I'll have a garrison, and then I'll have an army just over the hill, just over the border in Spain. If I had a bigger navy, I'd have shipped that army up all around Northwest Territories, but I don't. Because the thing is, that'll happen. Then if someone declares war on me, that's pretty much my only navy in the in the uh, in my only army, sorry, in the Caribbean. So I just can't risk it. I don't think. Besides, who knocked? I didn't check actually. Who knocked Savoy out? It looks like it's. No, it looks like it might be Spain. Annoyingly. So I was one turn out. Just one measly turn. No. No clamour for reform. They've all decided to change their minds. But yeah, keep them nice and happy. Good amount of growth. Industry's going up. Population growth is good. Oh my. Oh my. Why did they have to take Savoy? Why? 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 One turn. I was one turn out. Damn. <laughs> For some reason, it's not letting me. Oh, because I've chosen to maintain siege. But yes, looking at the timer, I think it's the end of this part. So I think this turn I've managed to uh, somewhat reclaim myself. Somewhat um, redeem myself, sorry, from the showing last time. Um, so I've managed to get absolutely trounced in the, the naval battle. But I capture Lisbon, which is very wealthy, and I'm about to capture Madrid. Unfortunately, it won't knock Spain out of the game, because they've captured Turin. Um, but I don't know if it'll be long before... Austria war with Spain, Nuremberg, France, and Mexico. And sadly, not. Who's Spain at war with? Just me. Literally, just me. Well, I could capture Spain, do a raid, capture Savoy, and then abandon it. Or trade it away. Trade it away for someone, for peace. See if we those create for peace. Unfortunately, not. Peace and trade, Russia. New Granada. No, but I will offer you four thousand pounds. Nope. Not not pounds. Pesos. So I want to upgrade this one to be a pure happiness building, but one of these I'm pretty sure I want to maintain as a church. Whereas I want wanting to grow them as a school. So I don't want to spend all the money upgrading it. Just kind of want to let time creep along. Okay, so... Ooh. Take Iceland. It's not really worth anything, but it'd be another piece of territory for the Mexican Empire. Either way, what I think it's worth doing is I'm growing some growing a navy there in um, Santo Domingo. In here in Cuba, I want to recruit some start recruiting a bunch of Indiamen and then start going to So I'm not in the not there. 
not on the Ivory Coast. No, I'm not on the um yeah, I'm not on the Ivory Coast. I am in the Straits of Madagascar. With a navy that no one seems to want to mess around with too much. And I was in the East Indies, so I'd like to expand into these regions. And maybe knock some Russian fleets off of the uh, off of the locations. Um, I don't want to, don't want to declare war on anyone to get them, but I wouldn't mind, you know, destabilizing some of my allies. Anyway, looking at the time, I've jabbered on for another five minutes since I earlier yeah, pointed out I've got no, haven't got enough time. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching, guys. It's been a good session. Uh, capture Lisbon, and I've got Madrid by the knackers. Radio, cheers for watching, guys. See you later.